Hello! We've got an upgrade to our InstiConnect. It's the new directional antenna. InstiConnect calls them binocular antennas. It's two antennas that are at 45 degrees to each other. That's the optimum for MIMO, multi-in, multi-out configuration. And I'm going to show you a little bit more of it. I replaced it on the PVC pipe that I'm using as a pole and put it in the same spot. It's right at the top and I'll take it down. I'll show you a bit more about it. Let's walk around in here. I'll show you around the other side of it. This is going to be hard because the sun's right on the other side, but maybe you can see it. I'll show you it better when I bring it down. Okay. Okay, so what Nick has done, Nick that owns InstiConnect, um, he's designed a mount for the binoculars antennas that also has a cavity for the modem. So it's just like the other omnidirectional angel wings antenna. It has the feet that hold the... Um, the cables in place and it also holds the modem up in the cavity. So here's the modem. It centers the USB connection that takes the digital signal into the router and then you've got the two uh, leads coming out of the antennas. So it is, it's dual antenna for the multi-in, multi-out, and that 45 degree angle is the optimum to receive the MIMO signal. Uh, real simple installation, let me uh, slide this guy back up in here and we'll get these guys in the right spots here. This just slides up in and connect, pops into those little cutouts. Okay, let me turn this guy around. And you can see I'm using the same mounting system that I had the angel wings. I'm using the two stainless steel uh, wing turn um, pipe clamps and the screws are just to hold it so that even if these clamps should loosen up it won't slide down or it won't uh, blow up so it's just a little extra protection precaution but it's not it maybe weighs oh might weigh about two pounds or so somewhere in that area um, it's not real heavy. The PVC, this is one inch PVC pipe. I'm using it as a uh, pull for it. And it has no problem. It, it's, when it's windy, it sways a little bit, but that really doesn't have any bearing on the uh, signal reception. How I'm, uh, now of course this is directional, so you have to aim it towards the tower. Whereas the Angel Wings was omnidirectional, it pretty much picked up, um, you know, anywhere around. But this uh, directional antenna is capable of bringing in a lot more signal. And for instance, uh, when I was using Angel Wings where I'm parked right now, I was getting about uh, 40, 43, 45 uh, percent signal and when I got the 
binoculars, directional antenna up and focus towards the tower, it brought it up to 77%, almost doubled it. So that's, that's a big deal. That makes a big difference. Uh, now, my, my cell phone is running on Verizon, and the InstiConnect I have running right now on AT&T. So, it's real easy to uh, use cell tower location uh, apps on the cell phone whenever um, you're looking for the same carrier as your cell phone is on. But if you're looking for a carrier that your cell phone is not using, it makes it a little harder to find where the tower is. What I'm using right now is Cell Mapper. Uh, that's an app, but you can also use it just on a regular computer. Go to cellmapper.net, C-E-L-L-M-A-P-P-E-R.net. Or you can download the app. And um, it will show you the uh, location, and you can put in different carriers, and it will show you the location of their towers. And it's a crowdsourced app, so it's taking information that uh, is gathered through other through uh, people that are using it uh, through their data collection, like information when they pick up a cell tower it uh, logs the information and the location and then uh, sends it to the site and um, adds it to the uh, information that it has for the towers in that area so that's it right now um, i'm happy with it it's um, it's doing real well turned around here again just so you can see it And uh, it has these little weeping holes that are in the uh, bottom of the uh, antennas. The only thing when you mount it, you need to have those pointed down towards downside so that if it rains that you know you don't get water collected inside there. And if you want to know how big they are, hang on, let me grab my keys. I have my little uh, tape measure here. Okay, so it's about, uh, the antennas are about 11 and a half inches long. And at the base, it's about eight inches wide and at the front end it's about mm, about four and three quarters and then, let's see they're about two and a half inches thick and this unit is just a about six and a quarter inches long by about 11 inches wide. The whole unit together, let's see, hang on. The whole unit together is about 15 inches wide and about eight and three quarters inch tall from the uh, bottom of the cavity for the modem up to the top of the top edge of the antennas so yeah not too bad uh, fairly compact antenna not bad at all I have a set of uh, antennas directional antennas that I use for uh, my jetpack which operates off Verizon um, I use that uh, at times when I've got a poor signal 
I'll put that up and aim it towards the Verizon Tower. So this just gives me another uh, tool in my arsenal of uh, cell connection. So now I'll be able to have directional antennas for both Verizon and AT&T. So this is the binoculars antenna made by InstiConnect and available from them soon. Uh, I, I got in on a um, test group uh, to test the binoculars, but they're going to be available, you know, for everybody to be able to purchase. And what you get when you purchase the unit is the mount, the two antennas, and the, uh, of course, the hardware to mount the uh, antennas onto the, uh, onto the mount. Uh, you and you, you use your, uh, the feet from the Angel Wings antenna and your modem from the Angel Wings antenna, you just use them in this one. Now, the one thing that I did need to do with this, and I'll show you this real quick. The uh, leads from the antennas are a bit thicker than they are from the Angel Wings. So the slots, the two slots, let's see if I'm pointing the right way here. These two slots, uh, where the antenna leads come in to the modem, you need to just cut those out a little bit. And you can tell that I didn't do a real perfect job on cutting it out, but uh, I just wanted to widen it out just a bit so they would fit in there. And that works fine. It w I just used a regular knife and it, it did it uh, without a problem. So that's it. Take care, and would I recommend binoculars? I sure would. If you're in an area where, uh, or if you're boondocking, if you're out uh, away from the cell towers and you need to get the signal strengthened, using a uh, directional antenna is definitely the way to do it. This does not boost the signal. It's not a signal booster. But what it does, it focuses in uh, on the reception from the tower. So it, it improves the signal that way and it works quite well. Okay, so take care. And we will talk to you later. Bye.